Hi guys, I'm back. Got another one for you. Um, it's a jar. But don't forget to su subscribe. Give me some likes. Share the video. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, thanks for stopping by and seeing one of my videos again. Without further ado, here we go. It's the famous honey jar. Here's the lid. The jar itself. I already did it. I'm just going to put it together for y'all. I'm going to put this to the side. I'm hiding it. Look at the lid. Look at the lid. That's pretty. The top, when I poured the lid, I didn't stop at the edge. I went over just to the point that it looked like it was going to spill over. I don't. And it gave this little rounded effect on the top of it. It's not just flat cut off. I didn't like that. Let's look at the jar. Look at the jar. Look at that. So, I guess this is considered a deep pour. <laughs> because when I poured, I poured this. That gold was see-through. And I stopped there. And then I mixed up some yellow and deep golden yellow and a little bit of orange, calabasa orange of the Pinata alcohol inks. And it gave me this color. When I got halfway there on the mold, because it has like a, was more than halfway, maybe three fourths from here to here, from here to here, as this cut off. When I got to there, then I did the same mixture, but I added a little bit of white to get like that murky, pearly look right there. You can see it. It goes from clear to like a pearly effect and I filled it all the way to the top and I domed a little bit and this flash cured and that's why you see all of this all of this right here those are little tiny itty bitty 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 micro bubbles but you can hardly feel it so here's the jar so you know honey sometimes it all looks clear that amberish golden yellow kind of color of the honey but then again and some of them you also see that at the bottom especially if it has any type of honeycomb in it it looks kind of like solid like it's turning like I don't know like a like this some kind of white in it I guess because the cold and it has the 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 honey solidifies, so it gives that that look. So I wanted to have the same kind of look, right? So I got these sticks off of Amazon, um, a dozen for like six bucks. So they're like what, fifty cents each. Got some twine. I got these. They come a whole bunch in a jar for six bucks, Amazon. And then some little ones that come large, medium, and small. And this honeycomb, I did it with this. I colored the UV. I poured it in. I hit it with the gun. When it got solid, I pulled it out. And I got that honeycomb. All right. So we're going to put that there. I'm going to put that there with some crazy glue. Got the crazy glue right here. The E6000 get on my nerve. I don't want to put no, no hot glue on this. Even though the hot glue will give that effect on the side like it's honey. But I don't want that either. So we're going to do 
crazy glue. I hope it works. If it don't work, I guess it'll be E6000. And I don't, I don't want that, so I'm going to put that there and hopefully it will stick. Let's see. That's on there. We're going to take this twine. We're going to put the twine around the jar right here. We're going to tie it up. Tie it up nice and tight. Give it a double knot. Give it a knot. All right. Then we're going to take your stick and we're going to tie the stick onto the side of the jar. Like I've seen so many others. Uh, when you look up the jar of honey, it always has to stick. And we're going to give it a little bow. Bow right here. Kind of hard with the gloves. Bear with me. And there's your jaw, honey. What you think, guys? I think it's cute. And your jaw, honey. Sticking all. You little bees. So I'm going to go to my Cricut and I'm going to get some nice lettering that says honey. And I'm going to put it on there. And there goes your honey jar. Let me bring it down. So you can see it. In full effect. There's the jar of honey. What you think? I think it's cute. We're going to keep it. Give it a thumbs up. And that's on there. It's, it's stuck. It's on there. Take off the, the jar. Lid off the jar. It's pretty. Look, I got a little loose piece. Let's look at it. Let's look at it. See the little micro ball? It flashed right on me. I poured this in an hour and a half, two hours. It was rock hard, but I didn't take it out. I left it in the jar because just because this got hot and this got um, really, really hot and hard doesn't mean that this was hard. It was just this pour that got hot. But I pulled it last night and this morning when I got up around 6, I pulled it out. It was solid. All right, guys. That's it for the honey jar. Tell me what you think. Bye. See you later. My owl. I love owls. Love owls. Bye, guys. Subscribe. Give me a thumbs up.